Today's battle takes us to two open source programs here present to fulfill all your animation needs, all the while keeping your wallet healthy and full. We are going to pit Open Tunes against Pencil 2D, both being 2D animation software. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from Skillshare about OpenTunes, which will show you how to easily make 2D animations. The course is an introduction to 2D animations. It is taught by Brian Dolschiff, who will show you the basics of OpenTunes, which will give you a jumpstart to learn the software. The course will cover different topics such as drawing, coloring, animating, and more. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a month of premium membership. Alright, now back to the video. What are we working with? OpenTunes is the result of another software referred to as Tunes going open source, hence the open added to the name. Available for macOS and Windows, and it's currently being actively managed and supported by Dwango, with new versions being updated on the regular. For a free program, it's relatively packed with a large number of features and tools. It supports both frame-by-frame -frame and direct puppet animation, and it goes without saying that it's capable of both bitmap and vector. The code for this software was originally utilized and partially developed by Studio Ghibli themselves and was responsible for some of the studio's most popular works including Spirited Away, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and other works such as Ariety and even western shows like Futurama. Similarly, Pencil 2D is also an open source free program, except it takes a page from every D&D character and has a tragic twist on its past. It saw its origin as a scrapped project that forked and eventually found its way back together under Pencil2D.org. Available across all platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD, and even under older versions of Windows, and I'm gonna age myself here, like Vista and EXP. It's a very simple animation program that is primarily made with frame-by-frame -frame bitmap animation in mind, but it can also support vector workflows. The Pencil 2D project is still ongoing with support from both the developers and the community and is receiving constant updates with new features and quality of life improvements. A passion project, one might call it. So how do they exactly work? OpenTunes was originally created as a manner of digitizing traditional hand-drawn 2D animation in an attempt to modernize and simplify the cleanup step. As a result of that, it relies on an X-sheet instead of a classic timeline to organize the different frames. Newer versions have added a timeline, but the prior option is still the most optimal in, in this context. Its biggest asset is probably the way it supports the cleanup of hand-drawn art with things like ICC cameras and GTS scanning. Uh, if you're a digital kid, those words probably meant nothing to you, but but this method was developed by Studio Ghibli themselves as a manner of optimizing their animation pipeline. If you get past the hurdle of mildly confusing X-Sheet workflow, again in case you're not familiar with this concept, you will find that this program is actually very well equipped. It has a very decent brush engine that provides a plethora of brushes that simulate different mediums and textures. They are limited in size and opacity manipulation, but it is made up for with extremely smooth line work, supported by anti-aliasing and very simple color manipulation across the entire project. It is also equipped with a node tree for special effects. All in all, it has everything and has proven capable of producing high quality industry standard works. <coughs> Ghibli movies. <coughs> and now we move from complex to overly simple. Pencil 2D is what you would call rather bare bones. It has a simple interface with a limited set of tools. There is a massive variety in brush types and the three default layer types are very simple to understand. Raster, vector, and a camera layer that allows you to manipulate camera movements. Duh. The frames are very easy to manipulate and can be moved around in the timeline by simply using arrow keys or with the classic drag and drop. It has onion skinning, and that basically sums up the entire program. There aren't many intricacies to talk about, as the straightforward interface leads to a straightforward workflow. So we're just gonna move on right ahead to the learning curve. It's very easy to compare the learning curves of these two programs, as they are essentially the opposite ends of the grading scale. OpenTunes has a very steep learning curve, and the less conventional manner of organizing frames, at least for contemporary standards, uh, can be counterintuitive. The X sheet itself can be kind of difficult to read, and due to its sheer size, it can obscure a lot of the software's other features. Thankfully, there's plenty of resources to get you both started and well acquainted with the software, and as a program capable of producing professional 
professional quality results, it is pretty much worth the time investment if you are willing to be more flexible with the techniques in your arsenal. On the literal other end of the spectrum, Pencil 2D is very clear in what it presents. It's extremely simple to use and very easy to learn and master. It's not as big of a time sink to figure out what this program is capable of, which allows you to pour that time into mastering animation proper. Alright, now for le plat de résistance. Both of them have an undisputable pro, which is the fact that they both go very easy on the wallet and on computer requirements, which just circles back to being easy on the wallet. <laughs> As uh, other animation programs tend to be a little less forgiving. Oh, who am I kidding? Way less forgiving on the old savings account. There are, however, some nuances that you might want to consider before making your choice. So, what are they? For open tunes, the keyword is power. A hard to achieve power, but still very rewarding once you get there. The many pros of this program come in the fact that it's relatively well equipped for its non existent price and has proven able to compete with the big dogs of Harmony and Animate, since it was the foundation of one of the most legendary animation studios of all time. It is one of the best programs for cleaning up traditionally drawn animations, and it makes for a great addition to anyone's roster if they are looking to pursue animation professionally. Since it requires a fundamental understanding of the craft to take advantage of it fully. That being said, it is not free of setbacks. Uh, that can be deal breakers for a lot of people, including the slightly confusing interface that, yes, although it has gotten better and more legible with every new version, it still isn't the most intuitive to use. There are also bugs that still plague its programming, mostly leading to inconsistent crashes, so, pro tip, save your work a lot. And finally, the steep learning curve making it quite a time sink to master. Well, what about Pencil 2D? You know how with great power comes great responsibility? Well, with a lack of power comes great accessibility. Uh, Pencil 2D can be ran virtually in any device, regardless of computing ability, uh, and is notoriously easy to use, along with the interface being very legible and intuitive. Uh, simply put, this program plays with all its cards face up, meaning you won't need to do much digging to understand what it's capable of. And that plays into why it might be worth picking up, especially for the younger generations of artists that are looking to dip their toes into animation with minimal experience and system requirements. This great accessibility, however, is what makes its biggest weakness as well. The ceiling of this program is the floor of its more comprehensive competition, and after a while you might find yourself feeling limited in what you are able to achieve. Also, much like Open Tunes, it's not free from bugs, so our previous advice also applies. Please just press Ctrl S. Now that the jury has convened, what is the final verdict? The best metaphor I can think of to describe this struggle is that of a raw, unfiltered potential, beyond a treacherous journey, riddled with hardship, waiting to be uncovered. Versus the less impressive but still capable magical item you order online and get delivered to your couch on a silver platter. Both of them are worth picking up if you would like to dabble into animation, and if anything, we recommend you try both. Pencil 2D is a great starting point for anyone that wants to learn the basics of animation without worrying about the technical aspects of the program. And once you find yourself inevitably close to its ceiling and you start looking for more of a challenge, you can make the switch to open tunes. You can't really ever go wrong with free software, so ultimately everything comes down to your intent. And both of them have tutorials and learning lessons aplenty, so it's just a matter of where you want to invest your time. And with that, another battle sees its conclusion. What more gargantuan showdowns await to be unveiled? <laughs> well, you might want to subscribe to see when those roll around. Let us know in the comments below if you are familiar with either of these programs and what your thoughts are on each. If you found this video helpful, let us know by leaving a like and maybe even share it with some friends who are looking to get started in animation. And with that, we hope you had a wonderful day, and thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon on the next one. Take care!